Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism. No contribution with this video. Looks like they're on lunch, so I might be able to sneak in another one. But I don't want to do a, spot, a video of somebody's story and then have the noise kick up. I think I can get this one done pretty quickly. You know, before I was doing pit bull videos, uh, idiot videos, I started by doing red flag pet videos, how narcissists use specifically dogs as, as a means of, 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 of enacting their will on people to get their narcissistic supply on people. And it's the same whether it's a pity it or, or, or just another large breed dog. It's, it's the same mentality. The, Joe Biden and his family are pitiots. They're basically, they're white trash pitiots without pit bulls. Instead of pit bulls, they have German shepherds, which can be as equally as dangerous. I mean, I worked with shepherds. They have an enormous bite compression ratio. They kill, they maim, okay? There are a lot of great German shepherds, a lot of them, but some German shepherds are just fucked in the head from birth that they don't like anybody but their owner. They won't necessarily attack people unless you get too close to it or break in, or, but they're just not friendly, okay? This case, okay, the Bidens, and if you've been following, following them since the time they got in there, they're on now their third German Shepherd. All three of them can't stop biting Secret Service and White House staff, and Primarily, they go. They're biting Secret Service agents who are there to protect the Bidens. It's like this. It's like this. They can't help this. This mentality can't help themselves. They can't help themselves except to exert power through dangerous animals. And what Biden is doing, but not even necessarily him, because his brain is scrambled. I'm sure some. That, you know, I'm sure some semblance of his brain is in there, and his fucked up wife's brain is in there. It's a way of almost pulling a power play. Not almost. It's pulling a power play on these Secret Service agents who are there to protect them. But at the same time, or, or, he has to do what they say. If they say move, he's got to move. And, you know, no narcissist likes that. So this is a, it started with an original post by Paul Sperry on, on Twitter X. Joe Biden's dog commander moved from the White House because it keeps biting people. Secret Service officer. If it wasn't their dog, he would already have been put down. Third Biden dog that bit Secret Service White House staff. One dog, it's the dogs. Three dogs, it's the owner. And it's in, in the cases of, of shepherds, it is usually the owner. Joe Biden's dog commander has been moved from the White House because it keeps biting people. One of President Biden's dogs, a German shepherd named Commander, has been removed from the White House after a string of biting incidents. Commander is not presently on the White House campus. Campus. Everything is infantilized. And now the White House is a campus. Everything is infantilized because we're a nation of children now is not on the White House campus while next steps are evaluated. Elizabeth Alexander, a spokesperson for a First Lady, Jill Biden, said in a statement to CNN, which first reported Commander's removal. Commander has bitten, bitten Secret Service staff at least 10 times between October 22 and January 23. That's like two months. October, November, December, Jan three, four months, two, three, like depending on when it started and when in January. So over the course of four months, okay, we'll give it four months. Over the course of four months, this one dog has bitten at least 10 Secret Service agents. The people who are there to fucking protect you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Whether it's Joe Biden, Jill Biden, or your run-of-the-mill pity it, these are people who project power through dangerous animals. Even the fucking president and first lady of the United States needs to project power through dangerous fucking animals. It is a mental fucking disorder with these people. Because the Secret Service is one of the few agencies that has a great, a, a, a great amount of power. 
And believe me, they don't. They're the Bidens want to show them who's really in charge. No, you're going to deal with our fucked up demon bats. At least one agent was sent to the hospital in one of these incidents, the record the records show. An 11th incident in September was reported by CNN. So your, your agents are being hospitalized and you still won't do anything about it. You still won't do this. Is, and this is the same mentality of the pitiate. Projecting power, making you deal with their monstrous animal. The outlet, citing unnamed sources, wrote that the two-year-old dog, and again, two years old, is like, is like the flashpoint for, 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 for dangerous dogs. Whether it be pit bulls, shepherds, rottweilers, akitas, every time there's an attack, nine times out of ten, it's going to be in the one and a half to three year range. Basically a two-year-old. They lose their fucking mind. Like, whatever happens at that age in a dog's development, if they have that aggressive gene or they have that aggressive um, owner, it's going to come out at that time. The outlets, uh, citing unnamed sources, wrote that the two-year-old dog has also bitten other White House workers and resident staff. Commander's removal from the White House comes after Biden's two other dogs, Champ and Major, were reported to have bitten Secret Service staff in 2021. So it's all three dogs keep attacking Secret Service agents and White House staff. And they do nothing about it. They get off on it. This is the pity at mentality. Projecting power through dangerous animals. Champion Major were moved temporarily to Delaware in early March before the pair returned to the White House later that month. After Champ died at age 13, the Bidens adopted Commander as a puppy in 2021. Meanwhile, Major was sent off to the White House for good that month. So the old dog was biting. The two new dogs were biting. At what point do you have to say it's the owner's? The President of the United States is a pitiot. Sorry. Sorry is a pitiot without a pitiot. The repeated biting incidents have prompted concerns over work safety for White House staff. They have reportedly become a source of strain between Secret Service and the Biden family. This is a power play. This is the Bidens. Okay, probably more Jill than Joe because, like I said, Joe's fucking brain is scrambled. Okay, pulling a power play over these big strong-armed men. Oh, no, you're going to deal with our demon dogs. And like... Like, like, like it was said in the tweet, what the, what the Secret Service agent said. If it was anybody else's dog, they would have been put down already. <clears throat> We're beyond the point of worrying about trust being broken. We have to speak up, an anonymous person close to Biden's Secret Service detail told CNN, describing the White House work environment as hostile and dangerous. Gee, you think? <laughs> you think? They don't care. They're Democrats. They don't have to follow rules. I don't got to follow rules. A former White House official told Axios they regularly interacted with Commander and Major and said the Bidens and their top staff refused to engage in any problem-solving discussions regarding the dog's behavior. It's just like every other pity. It. It's not their fault. They won't engage. You deal with it. The White House statement, I hope they, I really do hope they get sued on that one. So that's going to be a hard time to, to, that's going to be a hard one to claim any type of presidential immunity on, that you have your personal dogs attacking people, three separate dogs, 20, in, over 20 incidents. The last one, it's like 10 incidents over fucking, between October and January. Jesus Christ. The president and first lady care deeply about the safety of those who work at the White House and those who protect them every day, Alexander told CNN. They remain grateful for the patience and support of U.S. Secret Service and all involved as they continue to work through solutions. What solutions? Why do they have to be patient? you got Secret Service agents going through the hospital. Well, if the Secret Service agents in the hospital, he really can't be protecting the president. Can he? 
Because if he got bit by the president's dog, obviously he's on the presidential detail. They don't care. The pity it doesn't care. The pity it rolls dice. The pity it gambles with other people's lives. The White House is chaotic and really stressful for pets. I never heard of any other any other pets going ape shit on on Secret Service agents. I never heard of a socks the cat, you know, taking a dump in the goddamn Oval Office, did you? Clawing out a secretary's eyes. No, no, you don't. Everyone knows this and have been trying to work through how to make things better and safer for everyone. Get rid of the dogs! There's nothing to work through here. We're, we're, not, we're not on some kind of fucking game plan here. You lunatics. You lunatic. Three separate dogs all keep attacking people. In a, in a workspace. In a workspace. Do you know what would have, what have fucking happened? If our dogs at Macy's were randomly attacking customers and employees? Holy shit. Holy shit. We did have one, the Rottweiler, Bruno, in Brooklyn, could only be handled by one handler, and he turned on everybody. And what did we do once we took over that store? So Bruno and Holly had to go. They went to the farm. And that's when we replaced the Shepherds and the Roddies with the, with, um, I'm sorry, the Dobermans and the Roddies with the, um, with the Shepherds. You can't have that kind of liability in a workplace. Uh, not for them. The pity it thinks, you know, we're, we're, we're working through something together. No, no, there's nothing to work through. Give her the goddamn dog. Because if it was anybody else's dog, it would have already been put down. To say that, to say that, <clears throat> God damn it, to say that they and their inner circle aren't working on this or are refusing to engage is just not true. Well, what are they, the dogs are still there up until, up until very recently. You just keep bringing in new dogs that keep biting people. On the other hand, Politico on Monday quoted two White House staffers saying that Commander is friendly and well-loved by Biden staff and tends to only bite Secret Service agents. Oh, so it's the eight. So it's something you did. It's something you did. Pity it bingo. <clears throat> You've all seen the pity it bingo that I use sometimes as a thumbnail. Pity it bingo. It's not the, not the pit bull's fault. It must be something you did. Maybe it's the guns. Maybe it's the guns. The, 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 they know they're, they're armed and they don't like it. The White House is just a crazy environment for a dog, one former White House official told the outlet. There are enormous men with guns acting suspiciously and hostile everywhere. <laughs> so you think these the Bidens train these, these dogs to know what a gun, a gun is and that it's dangerous and acting suspiciously. I like, <laughs> oh god the pity it the pity it with a shepherd shit shit commander recognize hey these guys got guns I better go bite them well if you can understand that can you explain to them no they're actually what secret service agents protecting um, uh, president scram scrambled brains Oh, they talk to you like your children. Goddamn pitiots. The White House press office did not immediately respond to a request for comments sent outside regular business hours. Oh. The president is a pitiot with a shepherd. It's unbelievable. It doesn't matter if it's the president of the United States or you're just your typical friggin' white trash idiot with a pit bull. You're a typical, you know, you know, get ghetto dude with a fucking pit bull. The mentality is the fucking same with the idiot. Projecting power through dangerous animals. So 
I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this with someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to subscribe to both my channels on Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.